What's going on guys, my name is Citizen Nuketown, and welcome back to another gameplay commentary for me here today. I know it's been a while, I've been busy, I've been sick, I've been working almost, probably a little bit over full time. I haven't really been having much fun playing Call of Duty, so I haven't made too many videos, but today is a different day. A day that I think is really important to help get a message across, because today is Bell's Let's Talk Day, or hashtag Bell, Bell Let's Talk. Um, I'll be putting that in the, the, the title of the video, so if you do like it, Five cents will be going towards uh, mental health initiatives um, because that's what Bell is doing today. So if you tweet the hashtag Bell Let's Talk, five cents goes towards all that stuff. So it's something that's been really important to me and I've put a lot of time and effort into volunteering and doing some under um, underpaid work for that. So it means mean a lot. And I think I, I want to tell you guys about a story that means a lot to me and how some of the people that have mental health care issues can potentially hurt themselves and, and why uh, some of the funding isn't there. So, yeah, uh, I did a, a year of volunteer work as, as a part of a program in Canada called Katimovic. Um, it's no longer a program due to lack of funding by the government. And um, essentially, I did nine months of volunteer work around Canada in three different um areas so I, I did I helped people with physical and mental disabilities learn um, computer and, and job skills at a place in Moncton I helped um, uh, homeless uh, at the homeless food bank at the Salvation Army food bank in Kamloops BC and in the place that I'm going to talk about today I worked in a mental health care hospital in London Ontario and um, I met a couple interesting people there, a lot of people that do need our help. And unfortunately, that facility has closed and um, the residents have mostly moved either out of the hospital and into the general population or into, a, um, into other houses that can help them. But um, one individual, uh, while I started working there, I think it was like my third day, uh, I was working on the anxiety and depression ward and essentially my job there was to help talk to the people, help them uh, develop some social skills as well as, you know, help them with just the general outings that they did, whether it was like going for walks, uh, part of the walking club, going out um, and doing activities um, in the general public, as well as um, running the, the library. Um, that, that was kind of what I did. And <clears throat> on my third day there, I got approached by one of the inpatients there. Um, he wanted to go on a walk. He had all of his normal privileges that allowed him to go outside and kind of run around the, the general facility because it was absolutely a, <coughs> a huge facility. I think it was like at least five acres, maybe more. And I thought nothing of it. And I just, just told the, the main nurses and the staff there that I was gonna take him on a walk and I'd be back with him in like 45 minutes. So we decided to go out. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. And just walk around the facility. And on this walk, he started telling me about some of his uh, family past. He talked about um, his parents. And uh, most importantly, he talked about his brother. His brother uh, was apparently living in Toronto, which is like a, an hour and a half drive from where this facility was um, by car. And um, he was telling him about like how his brother just started this like hotel business and he needed help. Uh, and his brother reached out to him and, and he wanted his help to help run this and All of this didn't really kind of click in to what was going, going on in, in the moment I just kind of was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and just kind of talked about stuff talked about my life But as we were walking along um, On the outside of the facility we went to this part of it Which was on uh, by train tracks and it had like trains coming in um, at certain times of the day and he was talking Kept on talking about, oh, his brother really needed his help and he really needed to go. And I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Oh, I was just going to tell the nurses about it later and that it was concerning him. But um, he was like, did you know that like down on like the left side of the train tracks, that's where Toronto is. And he's like, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But uh, then he just started running. And keep in mind, this, this guy was really out of shape. He was like 65, kind of your typical older guy, just hasn't really done too much physical activity. And he, and he just started running. And um, if I wasn't there, like, who knows? Like, he could have made it down the train tracks. He could have pushed over um, a volunteer that maybe was younger and less physically fit and active 
or someone who's less strong. But he started running, and he, he made it probably like 30, 45 feet down the train tracks until I could actually stop him and, and, and convince him that he needed to go back. And if I wasn't there, he could have potentially been one of the many people who have mental health care issues um, that are homeless or potentially got killed by the trains that go down the tracks. And it was just generally unsafe. And, and those people really need our help. The people that don't really know what's going on and they can, they're potentially, uh, they're potentially a huge hazard to themselves as well as others around them. But that's just kind of my main story. If you want to hear any other stories um, from the mental health care hospital that I worked at, I, I I'll, I'll tell you about them. Um, can't give you guys names or anything like that because of confidentiality and shit. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you want to help with the issue. Uh, tweet hashtag let's um, bell let's talk and um, five cents will be going towards mental health issues. So that's it for me. My name is Sister Newtown and I'm signing out. Peace, guys.